Let's face it, giving up coffee sucks. Doesn't matter if you're on the AIP diet and have to because of the seeds or just because you're trying to give it up for health reasons. It's just really not very fun, right? If you're a coffee lover, oh! But today I wanted to give you a review of one of the new products on the market, Sip Herbals. So before I begin, I do want to state that this is in paid partnership with Sip Herbals, but the opinions that I'm going to share here are 100% my own. And believe me, I've tried this stuff enough that I can really give you a comprehensive review of it. So first, let's just go over a few of the reasons why you might want to skip coffee. So first, if you're on the AIP diet, autoimmune paleo protocol, you have to give up seeds. It's just part of the elimination portion of the diet. And unfortunately, seeds encompass coffee. So <laughs> it's one of the worst things ever, I know. But it really, it's a good thing for health in general, even if you're not on the AIP diet, to give up coffee like once a year for a month, if you can, just to kind of help with your adrenals, um, like anxiety, uh, blood pressure gets lowered, and then you can sometimes, like you have stubborn belly fat you can often get rid of. Uh, you can sleep better at night. I mean, I just, these are some of the things I can think of off the top of my head, but it's just really good for your, especially your adrenals, to kind of give your body a break. Oh yeah, blood sugar. I'm going to be doing a whole entire blood sugar series coming up in the next few weeks. And that is one of the biggest things that coffee can really affect your blood sugar and make it go on this roller coaster, which next week I will share why that is so bad for autoimmune disease. Anyway, so back to the, the Sip Herbals coffee. Uh, this has been started by two ladies, Kelly and or Orletha, who have been in the paleo world for a long, long time. I've known them for years. And back like when 2014 or early, earlier when I started my blog and uh, they have known the struggles that we go through because they've been doing this themselves. So they saw a need for an AIP friendly coffee substitute that we could enjoy and actually like and not just kind of get by with, right? So basically until now, the only other option really that made the most sense if you wanted a bitter brew was to mix your own combo of chicory root, dandelion root, and carob. And I mean, look, this is, these are the jars that I had for the last time I went off of coffee. And you use like a quarter teaspoon of one, a half teaspoon of the other, and maybe a teaspoon of one. You have to buy mass quantities in the store typically, and usually off of Amazon, because I can't find it in the store. And getting the ratios down can be a little tricky because it's just sometimes you want a little bit more bitter and, and I don't know, it's just... So, and this is expensive too, to have to buy all of this stuff. The only one I'd say that I use on a regular basis and actually use up is the carob because you use carob powder as a substitute for cocoa powder in AIP. But the rest of this stuff, the only reason I would use it is for a coffee substitute. So it's kind of like a waste because I have all of this from the last time. I mean, this would take me like 12 years to finish. All right, whereas, let me show you with the Sip Herbals. This is a sample pack of the ones that they offer. Um, it has the original, which is kind of like black coffee, dirty chai, which is a delicious chai kind of thing, salted caramel, and then a mocha. I'm gonna go ahead and show you. You open up the package. You get package of each of them and they are let's see one ounce packages and you only need to use like a teaspoon or two maybe for each cup of coffee that you want to do so there's about six servings I believe in each one of these yeah so each one gets about six servings and you can actually use the grinds again so if you make a cup of coffee and then you want more you just pour more hot water in and let it sit and brew and you get more coffee out of it. So you don't even have to keep using new grinds if you're gonna have a couple of cups within a certain amount of time. And the ingredients in these are very clean and AIP compliant and they're very small. Hold on. I'm getting old. <laughs> ah, that's much better. Okay. Uh, this one, all right, this is the salted caramel, for example. It has roasted chicory root, dandelion root powder, carob flour, maple sugar, date sugar, vanilla bean powder, and sea salt. So 
all AIP compliant ingredients and uh, you don't have to worry like if you I can't see anything with these things on it <laughs> close but you don't have to worry like if you were to get Ticino or Dandy Blend for example those are not AIP compliant and really not something I would have in general because they are made with barley uh, and even though they say they're gluten-free and that it has been removed it's still kind of sketchy that that is even in there to begin with and I don't even know why but it's not something that I want to put in my body just because I am so scared being celiac that any of that gets into my body. So just having something cleaner like this is a lot better. Let me go ahead and show you the process of brewing it because it is a little bit trickier than um, just like pressing a button on a coffee maker, <laughs> but it's really not bad. So I personally use a French press. You can also on their website, they have like a tea strainer kind of thing. I'll put a picture up here that you can see that you can also use, but uh, just I use a personal coffee press. Let me actually go get some water and stuff. All right, now I'm better prepared. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I'll make the salted caramel first. I'm gonna do all four and I'll taste them for you and explain. So this is what it looks like. I kind of like a little heaping teaspoon. So I'm gonna put that in there. Pour in my water. And give it a stir. And usually by the time I get this thing in here, it's been about 15 seconds, but you could time it. And then just press it down. Pour into a mug. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It looks like coffee, right? Nice and dark. Not too watery. All right, for the taste test. It's like we're having coffee together. Hmm. I love this. So let me explain first the smell. If you've ever had chicory root dandelion coffee, it smells, there's a very distinct smell to it. It doesn't smell like coffee because it's not coffee beans, but it's kind of like a, I don't know how to describe it. It's like a kind of a bitter earthy smell from the, I don't know which one, hold on. Let me figure out which one that is from. Not the dandelion. I think it's cherry. It could be that these are just so old that they don't smell anymore. I don't know. It's a, <laughs> who knows? But it, yeah, there's a definite smell to it that you always get. But the thing is like, I've noticed when I make my own, I can taste it when I drink it. Whereas I don't taste it nearly as much in this. This I just, I taste like a kind of a, a light bitter undertone, kind of like if you were drinking coffee, but it's not, you know, it's not like a bad bitter. It's like a really good bitter and it's very smooth. I, to me, it's really, really hard to describe being, so full confession, I do drink coffee right now. I've uh, successfully introduced it after doing AIP a couple of times and I do drink it for most of the year but I do typically take at least one month off every year so I drink coffee in the morning and I drink this in the afternoon if I want another kind of cup of coffee and I don't want to have to deal with staying up at night because of the caffeine or any of that kind of thing and to be honest no this does not taste 100% like coffee but to me this is the closest thing to coffee that I've seen in any AIP coffee substitute. And the only reason I've been drinking coffee in the morning <laughs> lately is because of my son's diabetes issues, we've been just having equipment issues and stuff, so I don't get a lot of sleep, which is the very reason why I should not be drinking coffee, but in order to function, I've just needed caffeine. Don't judge. 
Now this is the salted caramel and there is definitely some like caramel undertones. Uh, I don't necessarily taste it as much when I'm drinking it, but then after I take it off of like out of my mouth, it sits kind of on the tongue and you can taste it for a little while afterwards. Like it tastes caramelly. It's not sweet or anything like that. It's just kind of tastes like black coffee to me with like a little bit of a sweet taste from the salted caramel. Now, one great thing that you can do with this is if you like things like lattes or mochas, you can make them with these things. Uh, you can use an AIP compliant milk, like coconut milk, and make a latte or add, I mean, th this mocha already has a lot of curry powder in it, but if you really, really want it mocha, mocha y then you can put uh, more curry powder in it. Um, but just, it has the bitter undertones of coffee, so it actually does taste like a latte when you're doing that. I noticed zero difference when I'm using one of these versus actual coffee if I'm making myself a fancy drink. All right, next I'm going to do the original. These are in no particular order, just whatever I'm picking up. You can see. So again, it still smells the same, but the taste of this one is definitely, it's not, I wouldn't say like as sweet because I do feel like this one tastes a little bit sweeter, right? But it's not like overly sweet or anything like that. This one definitely is more bitter and not nearly as sweet, if I'm making sense at all. <laughs> this I'd say is definitely the closest to a cup of black coffee without any flavor or anything like that. Yeah, it's definitely something I could never really achieve when I was trying to do it with this. Like for some reason it was always either too bitter or too something like I don't know I just they've done a really good job of nailing the ratios on to the mocha Ooh, hot. yeah this one definitely has more of a, like a, a rounder a little bit of a sweeter taste to it but still again it still does not taste chicory dandelion-y, it tastes really, really good. I think I would like probably equate these to like a lighter brewed coffee, not necessarily a very bitter dark one, but like a lighter coffee is what it really tastes like to me. And this one definitely has some hints of mocha. Now, I don't typically drink this one by itself. Usually I would add some coconut milk or banana milk. I really like banana milk in this one. Uh, if you haven't seen banana milk, I will put the link to the video up there. It really makes this kind of like chunky monkey kind of uh, mocha. It's really, really good. So that's typically when I drink that one, that's how I do it in the afternoon. I'll just make banana milk and pour it in here and drink that. But yeah, I, I definitely taste the carob in this one. But it's a good, like taste chocolatey. All right, and then the final one is the dirty chai. Mmm, I can smell this one. Mmm, yeah, I definitely taste the, the spices in this one. It's very ginger forward, so if you don't like ginger, this might not be the one for you, but uh, you can definitely taste like the cinnamon, tasting cloves and mace. Yeah, you can taste everything. This is really good. This one tastes a lot, if you like chai, and uh, like a spicy chai. That this is definitely the closest to like a spicy chai, not a sweet chai like you might get at Starbucks, for example, but the kind of spicy chais. Um, this one's really good if you add some milk to it as well and make a chai latte. Yeah, I haven't had this one in a while. Ooh, yeah, that's good. All right. Not really sure which one's my favorite now. <laughs> no, like I said, they're really good. They all have different applications. So I think, you know, to me, I've done salted caramel with milk in it and uh, usually like a coconut milk and it's been very good as a latte, but I do like to drink it kind of plain, just as a slightly sweet little afternoon pick-me-up. Uh, the original I tend to drink as a coffee substitute if I want something more bitter, just something like I pretend I like I'm drinking coffee. Because when I do drink coffee, I typically drink it black. But if you, uh, stuff all over the place. But if you like to put in um, cream and sugar, you could put coconut cream in and some sugar too and make it like a regular coffee. This chai definitely, um, yeah, it's great black too, but really, really good when it's 
like creamy with some sort of milk in it. And like I said, the mocha, so good with banana milk, but also like coconut milk, tiger nut milk, any of those would work really great as well. Um, and you can drink it black like usual too. It's just like, it's really good base. I think like that, that bitterness and everything that you would get from a coffee comes through if you add stuff to it as well. And if you need some more ideas of some things to do with like a coffee base, I have my AIP coffee alternatives video. I'll put that somewhere up here. Uh, so you can watch those to get some ideas on that as well. Because this is a review, I do want to go over some pros and cons of the sip herbals as well. So some pros are, it's a great drink that replaces coffee and I, I don't really think you would miss coffee that much, uh, especially if you are just in it for the ritual and not so much for the caffeine. And if you do need to come off the caffeine, I do recommend doing it uh, in stages, kind of weaning yourself off so you don't get migraines or other bad effects from it as well. Um, but because it's not, it's not caffeinated at all. You can drink it multiple times a day and have no like side effects, whereas you're not gonna be able to sleep at night or um, be jittery or anything like that, which is one great reason for it. Um, if you are on AIP, it's great because you can drink it, which is great because it's not a seed. Um, but if you're not on AIP, it's also a great alternative. Like me, I'm pretty much paleo, but I drink it in the afternoon and when I decide to go off coffee for a month. Remember I said that you can brew each one a second time, so it's really cost effective. So if you want more than one cup, you're getting kind of double the value of that. And these things are pretty big, like you get six out of each one of these. So again, it's a great way to make like a mocha or a latte uh, because of the underlying kind of bitterness and coffee taste of it, but also like a coffee and great for the ritual. And you can get it pretty quickly. I, I ordered mine, I got it within three business days. And I've ordered it many times for giveaways I've done for my autoimmune collective membership. And usually the recipients get it within three days. I think they say two to five days shipping uh, business days is what they're typically going for right now. The cons on the other end, you do have to use a coffee press uh, or a strainer or something like that. So if you don't have one of them, that could be a little bit of an obstacle. They do have uh, you know, the strainer on the website but these things are very cheap. You can get them anywhere, Amazon, the grocery store, Bed Bath & Beyond, Target, I mean, wherever. So it's not like it's a hard thing. And I used to keep one of these at work and then have one at home. So it's, you know, you can have them anywhere. So it's not that bad of a con. And the other one I think, which is probably the biggest con is that it's not in stores as of right now. And uh, it's not as easily able to be gotten outside of the US. Now they do say they have it on Amazon, at least the sample pack, and uh, Amazon does ship internationally, so you may be able to get that way. And Shop AIP also does have it, and sometimes they ship internationally as well. I just don't know about shipping costs or anything like that, so I do apologize to you non-US viewers because I know you guys get ripped off on everything. There's like hardly anything for you. Somebody in Europe needs to develop all of these AIP things and they'll make a fortune. But uh, as of right now, hopefully you are able to get it, but that is a con that if you can't, I'm sorry. And the final con is if you are looking for caffeine, you're not gonna find it in this. So if it is like one of those situations where you are dragging in the morning and you need caffeine, you're not gonna find it in this kind of cup. Then if you're on AIP and you need that, I would go to green or black tea but otherwise you're not going to get it from a cup like this. I know that's a con for some people because that's probably half the reason you're drinking coffee, but also the reason why we need to get off of it for a little while, right? So I really think this is a great option for anybody who's on the AIP diet, coffee lover, loves that ritual of drinking coffee in the morning or as like a pick me up in the afternoon on a cold fall day like it is today. Uh, just where you want to have that warm cup of Joe, but it's not really Joe, but it tastes kind of like it, right? I, I really, like, I am so impressed with these ladies and what they've come up with. And so that's why I really, like, jumped at the chance to be able to do this video because I really love supporting small businesses that are supporting the AIP community because when I first did AIP back in 2014 in the dark ages, there was nothing. I think this was the only thing that I had available to me. And 
oh, it just, it didn't work for me at the time. Like it's just, I, I could never get it right. So to be able to have things like this available is such a game changer. And one of the biggest things that usually stops people from wanting to do AIP is the lack of coffee. And this should not be an excuse anymore, honestly, because these are so good. So I just wanted to share this with you and I hope that you can take away that there are options for you and this is one fantastic one. So anyway, thanks so much for joining me. I really, really appreciate it. And next week I'm gonna have the first of my blood sugar series. This is the thing that I've been working on for months about blood sugar and autoimmunity and how it affects us with autoimmune disease and the things we should do and all of that. It's gonna be a little bit of a series. Things I've learned ever since my son got diagnosed with diabetes. There's so much that I wanna share, but it's gonna be very, very helpful. So stay tuned for that for next week. Otherwise, thank you so much for joining me for what I feel like was kind of a coffee date between us, eh?